Both my dad and my grandfather were speed skaters. By the age of two, my dad had me out on a pair of speed skates, pushing a 10-gallon bucket. The Olympic dream started for me when I was about nine years old. Watching the guys that I knew on TV, I remember kind of distinctly thinking, I can do that. One of the great things about being a member of the U.S. Speed Skate National Team is we get to travel the entire world. Germany, the Netherlands, Kazakhstan, Russia. There's a famous quote, if you don't leave your hometown, you're only reading the first chapter of a book. Get out there, explore new things. If there's a European town that has a speed skating oval, I've probably been there. I'm lucky enough to be one of the employees at the Waldorf Astoria in Park City, which is one of the premier destinations of the Hilton brand. Hilton Hotels and the U.S. Olympic Committee came up with the idea of the Athlete Career Program. It works around our busy training schedules. When we're traveling, it's really important to have every single thing lined up. Just like when you're out on the ice before competition, you have to find a perfect rhythm when you're checking into a hotel. You have to have the routine that works for you. I think all of us Team USA athletes really are excited when we know we're checking into Hilton Honors property because we know whether I'm here in LA or I'm in our home training base in Salt Lake City, we're gonna have the same routine, we're gonna have the same comforts. I spent a lot of time in cold ice rinks like this one, so my dream destinations are definitely someplace warm, Hawaii, Bahamas, and the Malfi Coast. The reality of being an Olympic level speed skater is there's a point when each athlete either fights or they quit. That moment is really beautiful because it reveals a person's character. There's no room for error at the Olympics. It's game on from the first step. When I think of Sochi, I'm excited. When the Olympics happen, the whole nation stops. You know that 300 million Americans have your back.